What is up guys? We are getting ready to head out on a little jaunt, if you will. We're gonna go for a hike um, to get the dogs out, get us out, get out in the sun before the sun goes away and just, you know, be outside for a little bit. but I'm loving my hair being like pulled not that much kind of like this I guess you could say just like half of it I don't know why I'm just really loving it but I think today I'm going to do a hat I have so much to update you on one being my husband's new career that he chose but that'll be for a later time you and I will discuss that we are just going to try and be more active we used to be so active and then, I don't know, we just like moved here and um, we just I, like fell off of that wagon, I guess you could say. So, oh my gosh, my kids are fighting something fierce today. That's another reason why we need to get outside because they need to get out, run around, do their thing and not be inside cooped up, driving each other insane. They've been actually really great today just playing most of the day, but I think they've just been cooped up for too long. And yesterday they were cooped up doing, I don't know, they just were watching TV, not doing a whole lot. And so, yeah, we need to get out. Get out in the wilderness, if you will. Do you think um, snow boots or hiking boots? I, I, I think we'll be fine either way. Okay. I would do probably hiking boots. I don't know that I want to wear these socks though. I want my. These are. You want to try them on? See if they fit you. These are a little large, I feel like. <sighs> and my Lamborghinis. Should we show everybody? Your... Okay, so these socks were supposed to technically be for Ryan, but then from my brother but then he decided because ryan says this all the time well he says zulu foxtrot is what he says uh -huh. and zero fox given we say that stuff all the time so my brother seen these in the store and was like yep those are going to ryan and then, then he, he found a, too much stuff then he got a hat you and ready a wallet and all kinds of yeah things. and so he got me the socks but <laughs> the elves got a hold of daddy's feet a while ago <laughs> still a little pink there and so you know i'm stealing these yeah.
morning. We are going to make some breakfast real fast before we leave for the gym and the babies get off to school. Well, I won't be getting them off to school actually. Ryan will be. But I don't, you really should not go to the gym on a fasted stomach. So we're gonna have some breakfast. <clears throat> I always do one egg and then a half cup of egg whites. Half cup of egg whites. I don't want boring eggs. And here, here is breakfast. Grapes, a banana, and my eggs. And I'm really looking forward to that because I'm starving. We are getting ready to go on a walk, but first I have to give my chickadees their slop. Because, you know, I love my chickens and they love their slop. Hi girls, hi girls, you want to slap, huh? Hi, hi babies, hello, vanilla bean, hi. Oh, there's Ariel, senior cucumbers and Judy. I think this one's Judy, this one's um, vanilla bean. Ariel, senior cucumbers, and I believe the other one is toothless. Look at them. <laughs> on it. Hold on. On a hike we go. The dogs are excited. Tango, Tango, are you excited? Are you excited? We are at the same place as we were yesterday without the babies in like half the time. <laughs> Which totally makes sense, don't get me wrong. But also yesterday was absolutely miserable. We came at like what time before? Yeah, like 3.45. And the, it's windy today too, but oh my gosh. The sun was almost down yesterday, that's what sucked a lot. Yeah. By the time we got to where we are right now, Reagan was crying. Uh -huh. So we had to turn around. It was miserable. Anywho, we're out doing our daily walk. We, two years back? Two years ago, we did 75 hard. I forgot to take a freaking picture on day like 68. I made it to 71. Yeah. And For we and- We were gonna buy an RV. We were gonna buy an RV, but also we didn't really lock in the meal or our food the way that we are this time. So that's gonna make a difference too, but freaking forgot to take a picture. I was so mad, failed, and we haven't done it since. We decided we were gonna start. Yeah, and we were gonna start today. But it's <laughs> we day started two yesterday, for us yes. Because no use in, it's like having a New Year's resolution. Why are you waiting to make yourself better? Exactly. Yeah. And we're out here talking about future plans. Super excited to see where we are in six months, a year. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. We got lots of fun, exciting things in the plans, but we're not gonna share it right now because there's no point ensuring that at the moment just know that we do the have plans not dreams so we gotta yeah. make them come through before we're like yeah so what you need to know though right now on this fitness lifestyle motherhood channel is we're out walking and it is snowing it's cold but you still need to get outside and get your steps in get in the sun it's really good for you if you feel like you have no energy get in the sun like I tell people all the time we're like wheezing. <laughs> she needs to get in the sun more. <laughs> um, we're like solar panels. We need the sun for the energy. So even if you're just sitting outside, eating your meals outside, do something outside. Of course, get your movement in, but try to get sunlight in every single day. And also, if you're tired, move. Especially move outside. Yeah. Yeah, if you feel like you're just always tired, I, I, trust me, get outdoors, even if it's really cold, and just go walk up and down your sidewalk. I do this all the time in the summer, actually. I will be sitting on the couch because it's really hot and I don't want to go outside thinking how tired I am. It'll finally cool off. I'll go out and mow the lawn, and then Kylie has to tell me to come in because it's dark and she's tired of me being outside. 
because I've been outside for like six hours. Suddenly he has all the energy. All the energy in the world. And it's just because I went outside and did something. So. Actually, we usually go outside with him. But yeah, my arm's getting tired though, so. Jesus. See you at a later date. We're on our walk and there's some pretty horses gifting us with their presents right now. Brody's excited. He does this without horses. He just gets excited. A bench in the middle of nowhere. Okay, it's not the middle of nowhere, a boat. but. A boat. The gods have given me. Come on. Tell me you're a parent. No, I did not just randomly quote Moana. All right? <laughs> lady walking right back here. Thank you. Gotta turn around. Hello. I want to talk to you. Don't mind my extremely dark makeup. It is. It's way too dark, but that's all I have right now. And so we lighten it up with like, with some concealer. It's fine. It's fine. But I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Um, I can't even look at you guys because I have to make sure that I'm like getting my makeup where it needs to be. <laughs> so bear with me here. Um, but I want to talk to y'all about starting routines and starting your year off on the right foot. We're already almost halfway through January. It's the 9th today, okay? We are hanging out on the 9th. It's obviously not gonna be the 9th when you see this, so it's gonna be halfway through when this video is up. And I want to make sure that you are not already giving up on yourself, that you're not already throwing the towel in or coming close to doing that because you are reaching burnout because that's what we do in the beginning of the year. We get excited and like ready, like this is the year, this is the time, I'm ready to change. And then we burn ourselves out and we go right back to where we were, okay? And so I just, I don't want you to do that. I want you to be smart about what you're doing. And a lot of times we tell ourselves we don't have the time. That's what we tell ourselves. And I love you dearly, but I'm gonna be the person to tell you that one, nobody has the time, okay? Two, you do, you have the time. You have to make the time, you just, have to sacrifice certain things and that thing to you might be Netflix. It might be your social life. It might be a little bit of sleep. You don't get the extra 30 minutes of sleep. It might be going out to eat or something. I don't know what that sacrifice is to you, but you know what that sacrifice is. And if what you're trying to change is a priority, you're not going to think twice about the sacrifice that you have to make. Okay, so. My point to this is though, I don't want you giving up on yourself because you are like overdoing it and you're not finding a good balance. I just watched this video on how to create a routine that works for you and I thought it was brilliant. So I'm going to teach it to you to also teach it to myself to hopefully help both of us have a better routine for 2023 and get our goals in the bag like we're we're gonna get those babies this year okay that's what we're gonna do you and me we're doing the goal thing and so i'm gonna tell you what she taught me okay but first i gotta try this little like nose contour thing that i'm not the greatest at i'm no makeup professional but it's totally fine i don't know maybe it's not fine to you maybe you're sitting there stressed the heck and bob out that i don't know how to do makeup but my apologies so the first thing she talked about is you need to write down your non-negotiables. When do you have to get up and get ready for work? When do you have to go to work? Are you going to school? Are you um, picking your kids up? Like the, the non-negotiable every day, you have to do it whether you want to or not, you know, type of things, which is, like I said, you're going to work, you the commute to work, like how long does that take? I want... She said the first thing you need to do is schedule or not schedule, write down all of those. So the non-negotiables for me are I have to get my kids up at 6.30, get them ready for school, get them out the door at 7.30. I'm very blessed and I don't have to 
to work. However, I'm currently building a business and part of that business is content. So um, non-negotiables right now are going to be, you know, those types of things, but they also go into the next thing, which, you know, we're going to talk about here in just a second. So before we get into that though, write down your non-negotiables, like do it right now. Okay, pause the video. I will be here when you get back. Pause the video, write down your non-negotiables. And then you are gonna look and see in there what times you have. Like, are, do you get home at three in the afternoon and you have from three to eight o'clock, you know, of you get home, this is when we all go to bed. Okay, and then when is dinner? What are you doing with the kids? Figure out your non-negotiables, write them in, in your calendar, use Google Calendar, use a planner, use a, a calendar, that, a desk calendar, whatever it is that you have to use, put it in there, okay? What are your priorities, okay? My priorities are going to the gym, YouTube content, Instagram content, building my business, building my brand. These are my priority. And so schedule that into your day as well. Maybe you only have an hour to begin with. That is totally fine, okay? And pick different times. So maybe your day for work starts at, maybe you usually get up at six o'clock and you know that's when you're getting ready for work and all of that stuff. So maybe your first schedule that you're gonna try is you wake up at four, 30 and you go to the gym, get your workout in, yada, yada, go to the gym. And then you get ready for work at six o'clock. So maybe that's your first schedule. And then in there, if you have whatever your other priorities are, okay, meal prep, packing your lunch for the next day, like however you need to set yourself up. Maybe your goal is just to get to the gym. Okay. That's your priority is you're like, I want to get to the gym and I want to spend my evenings with my children not watching TV. Okay, well, when do you get home? When do your kids get home? When do you have time in your day to do that? Does it have to be this perfect schedule of for an hour I get to be with my kids? No, maybe you only have 10 extra minutes. That is okay. That is fine. That's the season you're in and it won't last forever, okay? Especially with your kids. Your kids are not gonna be tiny forever. You're not gonna be doing sports for the rest of your life with your kids unless you're a coach. It's only a season. With everything in life, you need to have a plan and then you need to execute that plan. You need to actually do it. Make sure when you are scheduling these things, okay, when, when you're scheduling the priorities and your non-negotiables and things like that, make sure you're scheduling in rest. So maybe you're resting on Sunday and what that looks like is going outside and playing with your kids, you're hanging out watching movies, like you're just hanging out with the girls, your girlfriends or whatever. I don't know what it looks like to you. You know what that looks like to you. Make sure you schedule in time for yourself and for your family and like just the non-negotiables and the priorities, make sure you get them in there. Do not leave anything out. And don't be afraid to change things up. Say it's not working for you to wake up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. That's just not something that works. So don't do that anymore. Maybe what works for you is getting up at 6 o'clock, going to work, doing your daily things, get kids down for bed, go to the gym. Or husband helps get kids cleaned up and stuff after dinner, you go to the gym after dinner. Like, Don't be afraid to move things around and try new things if something is not working for you. Working out in the evening does not work out for me. I'm not motivated. I'm annoyed if there's a lot of people. Like I am used to my group of people. I like to go to the gym at 7.30. That just is what works for me. So don't be afraid to try different things. I've tried the 5.30 in the morning gym time. I've tried the 7.30 at night gym time. I've tried the middle of the day, 12 o'clock, lunchtime gym. I've tried it. I like to be at the gym around 7.30. That's when I like to go. That's when I like to start my day after my kid, I get to say goodbye to my kids, get them off to school, and then my day starts. So don't be afraid to try different things, move things around, see if that's working. That doesn't work, so maybe I'll try this and make it work for you and your life and your routine, your schedule, like all of how it's a trial and error thing, but you have to do it. You have to show up every single morning and do the things that you said you're going to do. You have to keep your promises to yourself. You said you were gonna do it, so do it. That's really how that works. So we're gonna build, you're gonna watch me try and build like my routine and just go through things. 
I have not said anything about it yet, but we have, I think I actually did. Ryan and I have decided to do 75 hard again. And so you get to watch me figure this all out and see how I do things and hopefully start incorporating my tips and tricks and hacks and ideas into your own life and making it work for you the way that it will work for you. You don't have to do it exactly as your favorite YouTubers do it or your in favorite influencers do it. You gotta find a way that works for you, especially when you're a mom and you have kids, you know, and you work a full-time job or you're a stay-at-home mom and your husband has gone a lot. Like you have to find what works for you and stick to that. I hope this was helpful. I love you. I'm going to end the video here. And until next time, I will see you next time. Bye.